Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Gold uh, Last episode! Wow, Isaac has over 500 hit points. Everyone! Well, Garrett and I, have no, no one else does. No one else even has 400. <laughs> uh, last episode. All oh, right, okay. Sorry, I'm trying to remember how to do this. Um, right, last episode, we made it to this area. I'm trying to remember how to do this. You want to actually frost this thing first? You see there's a puddle under that little platform? Trust me when I say you want to do this first. Jacob looks weird, man. So strange. There's your 88 coin. Uh, do you want to go down there? Yeah, no reason not to, right? At this moment. Okay, you want to push this? Good. Good. Great. That chest is very valuable. I think that is the one named Sailor Moon. Uh, ooh. Okay, so then, the thing with this thing is, is uh, when you open this up, which is why I'm trying to like, kind of think in my mind here. If you frost on this, this platform that'll lift, maybe one of the, what is, I mean, you could use the frost pillars as platforms. Why does there need to be another platform? How close do we have to be, man? Jeez. Be man crew. Or maybe I was already too close. There we go, jeez. Weird. Doing that is actually a switch or a lever, I suppose, and it causes that to happen. It's weird because that looks not like fire to me. Um, looks more like like sand. <laughs> sand blasting. Uh, all right, I think we should be free to do this now. I hope. If not, we're kind of stuck here forever. Nah, there's no way we could be stuck forever, right? There's like examine this, right? No, there's not. And a smoke bomb. What? I guess that's just the trap chest. The, oh, I got you, chest. Um, I guess we get this now as a vel. Good, good. I don't see a reason not to. Hopefully, I'm not misremembering something here. Oops. Oh, come on, come on, Isaac. Good job, buddy. Buddy boy. Give me that potion. That's okay, I guess. Uh, and then you can push this. So that's why I have to use it in a very particular order, because otherwise you can't get this last chest. Cleric's ring, I believe, if this does what I think it does, it's a fantastic ring. Removes a curse's effects. So, this does exactly that. <laughs> when you use this, Garrett will no longer be stunned in battle. Um, we don't have any more, like, armor or anything, right? I thought we'd get, like, um, okay. we get, like, cursed armor. Maybe that's later. So, I don't think we actually still remove stuff, if I remember correctly. Traded. I don't think we would have equipped it, though, right? Can't remove it, right? Okay, that means we can't because this thing's cursed. Um, we will have to go see a uh, healer and fix that later on. Because I do want, like I said, I watch all the releases, so unleashes, if you will. Alright, moving on here. Uh, another battle to succumb to us. Something. Alright, come on. I keep expecting I have to press A on these, but nope. Services. Sir, sir, I. Sarah, Sarah Jessica Parker? Sarah, Sarah, let's defend first. Increase all the defense stats. Uh, that's weird to me that there's no, like, defense boosting thing for Mercury, but I guess that's kind of, like, not in the style of it. Anyway, service. Uh, they're level 35, 2,200 hit points, 3,200, wow, 2,200 hit points, that's quite a bit, actually. 1,863 gold. Use Double Fang, Ice Blessing, Restore, uh, Wicked Howl, may, which may, may stung an Ice Missile. They do have a 100% drop rate of something. Of a mystery item! Which isn't very good, to be honest, but hey, it will be something. Gain. Oh yes, we were born in the dark and stuff. Uh, uh Zephyr? What do you want to use here? Scout! Uh, let's use... Fizz on Garrett. He ain't looking so wells. Hey, he stuns. And poison badly. Fully hail, nice. That works better than I thought it would. Yaza, trying to lean me. Double thing. 440. Yeah, that's deadly poison. Jeez, that is insane. Holy crap. Okay, that guy should die. Like, well. He should die pretty soon here. So let's start working on the other guy. 
with the deadly poison. Holy crap. And if you notice, there's actually a bit of a different animation for deadly poison. It's red instead of green like normal poison. Wow, he's not dead. Strong guy. I mean, he does have a lot of health. Oh, he's not only stunned, though. Unfortunate! Uh... Yeah... Flash... Yeah... Zephyr... Nah... <laughs> Spritz... Yeah... Come on, lad! Holy crap, he's very resilient. You have a lot of hit points, as I've mentioned time and time again. Same commentary every time! Every wow, we're gonna get extra uh, hit points. Or, uh, get extra stuff from him. Extra experience and coins! There we go. Holy crap. Holy crap, you Alright, uh, this guy's already dead, so good night, sweet prince. Goodbye. I'm ha using all four of my level four summons. I don't think I've ever done this before, actually. Here's a real bit of Thor Hammer. Here's a real bit of Judgment. Good, good. Here's a real bit of Boreas. I think I thought about this before. I do think, um... God, it's not dead. He should next time, I hope. <laughs> Meteor! I do think that, uh, out of all of them... There we go. There, wow, I was level 26. Shine Plasma, yay! For, wow, we, wow, we're only getting that now. It's pretty sad, actually. HP up by 7, PV by 3, attack by 4, defense by 2, agility by 4. He's level 26, scribe! HP up by 8, PV by 2, attack by 4, defense by 1, agility by 4. That's a lot of coins. And then 100% drop is a Psy Crystal. And, yeah, we have to walk around a bit to get healing from Mia, I think. Yeah, that's fine. This room has a puzzle, if I remember correctly, that I hated doing a lot. Uh... Huh. Right here, lad. Okay, I know how to get that first chest. Or not. Cool. <laughs> God damn it. Um... Okay, we could do this. No, we can't! Okay, we can heal now. It's probably a great idea. Alright, let's see where this puts us then. Over there. Holy crap, dude. Uh, now can we jump over there? Yes, okay, good. So we can use this to get to this chest. You'd think like log rolling puzzles would be really easy, but. 999! 99 red balloons go by. Cannot reach that. Was there a point to this? I think there would be. I'm already getting confuzzled, all all confuzzled here. Okay, good. So I could reach this one, but we could already do that, so that's not worth anything to me. Wait! No, that still doesn't help me at all. Ah, <laughs> uh, if only I could reach that! Hmm... Oh, I can reach that log now! Good. I didn't even see that. Aha! Uh, okay, let's go left first. I think there's exits through him, right? Doesn't do quite what you want to do yet. Oh! I don't think that'll do anything though, right now. Woo! This one hurts my brain! That leads to this! Oh, wait! You thought we were done here! Well, guess what? We're not! Even though we still haven't gotten everything. Oh, I see. Okay. And then we go... Ugh. Not quite, not quite, but we got this, we got this! Believe in me, who believes in you? Go. Good, good. Up, oh, up, dip, 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 dip. There he goes. Better be something. Sleep bomb. Are you kidding me? That's like the hardest chest in this entire game for me so far, and it gives me a dang sleep bomb. Good lloyd. It's fine. 
Actual sleep bombs are fine. <laughs> All right, chest up there. What else we got in this room? Easy town. What is my goal here? Okay. Is there a log at the bottom? No, there's not. Um, weird. Okay. Uh, huh. How the heck are we gonna line that up? What? Yeah, I think this is the chest here that blows my mind away and I have no idea how to get it if I recall correctly. How in the world are we gonna get that? There's nothing, like, it has to be, it has to be this log that lines up with that, because that's the only one that'll line me up. Do like that, I don't know. I'm just kind of trying stuff here at this point. <laughs> is there, is there a point to this? I don't think so. We're trying it anyways. Hmm. How in the world? Oh, 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 I see what you gotta do. Right, okay. You gotta get... Oof. Oh, I think I just messed it up, though. No, never mind. You gotta get this guy down here first. I think. Holy crap, Chris head hurts. Um... <laughs> You gotta get that stuck. More than that. So let's do that. Good. And then let's do this. So we get this log over here. Good. Oh, I see. Right, okay, I see. We gotta get this log also lined up with those. But how, said the Chris, and I don't know how, actually. Okay, I think I have an idea here. Welcome to Problem Solving with Chris! It's unfortunate that we gotta move that and kinda undo- Oh, shoot! I think we just made this unbeatable. Oh, I don't think there's a way to save that log. Ooh, that log gone forever. Ooh. God dang it, that kind of suck. Alright, uh, I think this could just stay up here. I want to get this up here as well. Alright, right. And we could do this. And we could do this. This seems right so far. Now, do we do this first? No, I think we do this first. Right, okay, I think I got this. I think I figured it out. Right, okay, so then, okay, so you can just follow. If if for some crazy reason, a deep dang future, someone's watching this video as a tutorial, you're playing along with me, you can just follow that. And just when I re enter the room there. There we go. Sleep bomb, go! Mermaza! That's our third curse weapon we've gotten. This is demon fire. It's cursed. By the way, if you drop something like this, it just disappears. It will show up as an artifact, however. All right. We have to use the uh, clerics ring multiple times to finish all this up. Cool. With that, we are done with that room. Let us move on. Oh. What? So there's some energy here. What the heck? You know what I just realized? This could very well be the uh, missing ship. Oh god, I forgot about this guy. Uh, this could very well be the missing ship in Caragol, because this island is on the Caragol, right? I always figured that this thing has been here for a long time, but I guess it's possible it hasn't been. It looks like it's like rotted, but maybe not? I don't know. Anyways, this is, uh, I believe, the very last mimic in the game, right? I think so. Um, level 30, 1,206 health, 643 hit points, uh, 1,009 
experience points. Has a 100% drop chance of a thing. Uh, he used Spark Plasma, which hurts a lot. It is the upgraded version of Shine Plasma. He used Debilitate, Sleep, Curse, Condemn, and Side Dragon. Good, good. I like how these guys have- wow, that was quick. I like how these guys have mandibles. It makes me laugh. His 100% drop rate is a potion. That's right. Okay, um, trust me when I say you want to save here. Because we are about to fight. Something even stronger than the final boss of this game. It may look like, oh, there's nothing here. We can't go in there. Wait, oh, I don't think- wait, could we climb this? No, it doesn't even let us jump on. You can't go down there. This ha This even looks like the same ship as the Caragal, right? Wow, that's crazy. If you walk up here, okay. Okay. I think it's actually a better idea. Use quartz. Do... What else are we not going to need here? Uh, I don't think we'll need tonic. Everything else should be okay. Not going to need ember. Alright, here we go. This is Deadbeard. He only get, he even gets his own theme song. Deadbeard. He's so tall, he's even even all he isn't even on the screen. A fleshy red skeleton with armor on. This guy is horrifying. I do not want him to touch my children. What? Uh Corona, yep. We're gonna wanna buff ourselves as quickly as possible here. Maybe mm, breeze. Zephyr would have been a good idea too, though. Oh god, this actually- I could very well die to this boss. Deadbeard, level 43, 6,000 hit points, 9,000 gold, 8,000 experience points. Look at that, just that one attack took Ivan down half his health. Um, does it have a 100% drop rate of something? He uses Freeze Prism, which is a very powerful impact, which increases attack, guard, increases defense, ward, increases resistance, Inferno, which hurts a lot. Attack up by 117, that is a lot, man. Uh... Ground would actually be a pretty good idea to use here. Alright, we'll use that. We'll buff ourselves some more. Uh, Zephyr, boost our agility. And you could use Mist. Uh, do I want to though? He gets two turns. And he also has ability to use Spark Plasma, which hurts a lot, and Bleak, which we haven't seen before. And uh, if you, I'm sure he'll use it in battle, so I'll explain it then, unless I forget about it, in which case, just shoot me in the head. Ugh. Ooh, he's dead. Ooh, he dead. Yep, that didn't last long. Two turns, then two turns. Went from full health to dead in one turn. Alright, alright, you'll be alive by the end of this, I hope, there's sun. Uh, sap, get some health back. I think it's time to use Flash. Spritz. No, we got a free turn here. We'll use this, and we'll get Dew back from this, in which case we can use it to revive Ivan. Hopefully that'll be good. Enough, I hope. <laughs> um, Deadbeard is the strongest boss in the game, even more strong than the very final boss. 605, wow, that's actually still a lot of damage. That did one-tenth of his health, actually. Guard. Guard again, wow. What a smart cookie. He knows, he's scared of me. Judgment. Mia's kind of looking a little hurt as well. On the plus side, we could start... Uh, I think we're actually just going to heal. Just to have that one buff turn in between, uh, I think Garrett could live. I don't think Mia could live through an entire turn if Deadbeard attacks twice or uses to skirmish a thousand. Wow, one, two, three, zero damage. Crazy. I think we're going to stop using Jin with Mia and just use her as strictly as a healer. I was going to try not to do that, but uh, Deadbeard is one scary motherfucker. <laughs> uh, every time he buffs his attack, it's pretty scary. Okay, good. Do good, 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 good. Uh, we have granite. Okay, we could use that. Torch. All right. Uh, do that should bring back Ivan. Has a 80% chance of bringing him back, so should work out fine. Garrett and Mia will both survive thanks to granite. Oh, I thought it said he wasn't revived for a second. <gasps> Ooh, but I don't think he has granite on him. Spark plasma. He's never seen this before. 
It's the upgraded version of Shine Plasma. Ivan can learn it eventually. Um, probably won't in this game because he, he takes a lot. It takes a lot to learn. Bleak or Break, sorry. Uh, returns every all your stats back to normal. Your strength, as in your attack, all your extra attack, all your extra resistance, all that stuff goes down. Back to zero, not to zero, but um, grounds. Let's use grounds. That should be a nice buffer between. I don't know, King's calling it. Amber, don't need that. I guess Scorch. Let's seal his synergy, although that does make him just attack, which is about equally as scary. Because his attacks, as you know, he keeps buffing himself. Okay, good. Is that my able to move? Good. Oh, that probably saved someone's life. Don't know who, but probably somebody. Ugh. Gross. Very gross. Very yuck. Much yuck. Such wow. Okay, we do have courts if someone dies again. Um, spoiler alert, it would probably be Ivan if anybody. Uh, I think there's something here to revive me with. No? Alright, that's what I was gonna do. I was just gonna use Plywell. And hopefully. Two damage? Two damage? Two damage? Two? Why do you hate me so? Oh god. Uh, the synergy. The synergy seal's gone. Quartz. Alright. Well, just. Good lord, man. Uh, Flash comes back on a turn. Hopefully, we can live this last turn. Um, this will boost our attack. Two damage, I would imagine. Please save him in time. Good. She goes first. Please survive. Go. Yes! But he could very well go down. God dang it. He actually probably will. Especially because the synergy seals down. Ward, okay. I mean, bad, but also. Ding! Flash. Alright, let's start using some summons here. Oh, we got flashback. Okay, you know what? We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this, and then we're gonna wish well. Probably just wishing well and, wait and not wasting flash when might have been a better idea here. That's okay. Maybe after time. Um, 22 minutes. Oh wow, I didn't realize this was going on for so long. That's okay. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, make it stop. Kill him. Wait, how much damage is he doing? A thousand. Okay, that's still doing a lot of damage. That's good. It would do much more if he didn't have a ward and such on him so much. That's Freeze Prism. Obviously would have done a lot more damage if it wasn't for the fact that uh, Inferno, that's pretty powerful as well. Actually, that is the highest level of uh, fire. Bane, I don't think this will hurt him. Alright, if he's Meteor, that's really good. Uh, Kites, let's use that Mia. We can attack with a few aversion here. Mia also has the ability to use Break, which would be very helpful. I don't think she has it yet though, and I don't know if she'll learn it by the end of this here. Oh, he's weak to Earth. That's good to know. <gasps> we got him! Oh my god. You fell dead, Beard. 8,000 experience. Level 27. Nice. 8 HP up by 7. Isaac, by the way. PV up by 3. Attack by 4. Defense by 2. Agility by 4. Gears all level 27. HP up by 8. PV up by 2. Attack by 4. Defense by 2. Agility by 4. Love me as level 27. Cleric. HP up by 7. PV up by 3. Attack by 4. Defense by 1. Agility by 4. 9,000 coins. And his guaranteed drop is a water of life. And then there's this final chest, which gives us Demon Mail! Which is the curse armor I was talking about, I believe. Curse, yeah, it actually tells you that in there, which I don't think it normally... Yeah, normally they don't tell you that. Um... Oh, I'll drop his agility. That's okay. Use the boost attack, yeah. That's fine. The ring saves us from that. So I guess this is the best, uh... Ooh, is it, will this be good for anyone else? Uh, it is not, actually. Alright! Doing this actually does something else. Um, it affects later in, well, as you could imagine, I have been talking a lot about Golden Sun 2. Uh, doing this actually affects something in Golden Sun 2, so there's that. Not a, not a whole lot, but still something. We didn't, you know what, there's something we didn't do here that I need to do. I didn't push that statue up. So with that, we have finished up with the Ghost Ship, the uh, Crossbone Isle, everything's done. Kind of a lackluster reward in my opinion, getting the Demon Mail. 
I don't know, I think a cool weapon would have been nicer. Like an ultimate weapon for Isaac or something. Um, anyways, thank you all very much for watching. What I might- what I'm gonna do at the start of next episode is I'm gonna show off the, uh, remaining releases from Chris Weapons for, uh, Garrett here. Cause there's a more actually we're, we've already seen, um, uh, we've already seen the axe, right? Where is it? Is it? There we go. It's on page three. The top there. We've already seen that, so we're gonna probably sell that. This is better attack. We can't even see. 130 attack. I can't imagine. Oops. I can't imagine this being a better. 132 attack. Okay, so we'll, we'll show off the Wicked Maze, show off its release, and then we'll probably switch to the Mermaza for Garrett. Which is. What? That's weaker! No way! Okay, well, never mind. Then we'll show off the release of the Mermaza and the, uh. <laughs> and the Wicked Mace. Wow, that Mace is more strong. Yeah. And then we'll probably go back to this Demon Axe. And, uh, yeah, so thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, the best way to support me is by leaving a like, subscribe to my channel if you're ready. Yeah. I will talk to you. Well, here, let's get to the top here. Let's push that last thing down just for the 100% completion rate. <laughs> So after I cut, after I'm done showing off with the weapon releases, I will then meet you guys back in Venus Lighthouse, and then we will take on the very final dungeon of the game. Talk to you guys next time. We can do this now. Wait a minute. We can't end it yet. There's one thing I still have to show, and that's how to get back out off of Crossbone Isle. We we're almost at 30 minutes here. Come on, Isaac. So you may be wondering, you can fight this, uh, if you use Douse on here, because you can do that if you wanted to, I'm not going to, and you'd fight the lizard, you get the same battle, except it'd be on a, uh, delicious, delicious, uh, background, uh, a beach background, I should say, there we go, and to get him to respond, you just enter Crossbow Isle and leave, and he'll be back, so, and then leaving, you just go back in Tornado, and it brings you back to Sahala, so, yeah, I'll meet you guys next time, so long, bye!